Hi guys, this is David from Arzaman Engineering and this is a short video I would like to show you the application for the SmartPeed M5 Mini Temperature Controller this is the plus version with the bigger display in the control of the fermentation temperature you know there are several techniques to, to control temperature in, in beer fermentation the most simple is to insert the, the, the brew bucket uh, inside the fridge and do some modding and in this case I use a more professional technique so it's something more close to what the pro does. Uh, the idea is to recirculate cool water inside the fermentation tank and uh, you see internally there is a immersion chiller that recirculate Cool water that is stored in this camping fridge. Typically, buying a professional chiller is very expensive. It's very, it's not so uh, so affordable. But uh, make a modification of a camping fridge is is very simple. It's very cheap and also very effective. We can use a passive one, so just fill with the cold water ice and the cold water and then we have an immersion pump that recirculate the water inside the immersion chiller in this case I have also a fridge with a small refrigerator on top that helps to keep the temperature low what how does it work the assembly the assembly is very very simple very easy to do no wires no hassle no complicated uh, con connections. The smart bead itself is the core and controls uh, uh, temperature and drives the pump through a wireless relay. So we have a small wireless relay inside the chiller. It takes the power supply from, from the fridge itself and then controls the, the small immersion pump. And uh, the smart bead controller provides signal wirelessly through Wi-Fi to activate deactivate the pump so basically the the chiller is completely independent from the fermenter same also for the temperature probe here you see is a very unique features we have a wireless temperature probes it is battery powered and the battery lasts a couple of years and it's connected Bluetooth to the controller so again here the setup is very simple and you can put your fermenter even far away from the controller you can eventually if you have a small button you can also stick the, the controller if you like on the wall or maybe if you prefer on the chiller side so it's up to you to, to set up the, the system as you prefer since either the Temperature probe and the wireless relay are completely independent. Of course, you can use also a, a classical wired probes. You connect this one to the smart bead and you put this inside your beer format. It's up to you. Then, of course, we have the remote control. The smart bead is connected to Wi Fi to the server and through the web app. We can control pretty well everything so we can monitor the set point the temperature here we see we have set point eight degrees current temperature is 12 so the pump is on the relay is on we have alarms we have events and we can control everything here we have big screen we can draw a plot and we can send command we can change set point stop the pump and of course we can also create uh, profiles, fermentation profiles. You create the ramp so time and then you just need to upload to the controller that execute the, the process. So everything is in. very professional in terms of performance, stability and at the same side very easy to assemble, very cheap, uh, no expensive component and uh, you are very flexible in set up your 
your solution depending if you want to keep the controller close to the fermentation bucket or to the or to the chip. Hope you like it and of course if you have any feedback, any suggestion or improvements, uh, I'm uh, very happy to, to understand your, your feedback. Thank you for watching, stay tuned. Mm -hmm.